This is our adventure. Yes! So we're at Camp Fa which is above Halong, 30 kilometers up north, but there's less tourists once again. Finally the sea guys. Wow. Wow guys, this place, so weird at the same time, there's like no one. Completely desert, maybe they're building hotels or something here. And here it's the low tide. You can see there's this ship which looks like it's stranded. They just left it there on the sand. Every evening, many locals roam the tidal flats to catch sea snails and whelks. They might sell them at the Bendo fish market in Camp Fa that opens at 3 a.m. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. It's a nice change to have this landscape and the sea. We then headed off to explore the huge island which was nearby and we were shocked by what we saw. Thousands of buildings, massive holiday resorts, completely empty. People invested billions in tourist projects that ended up abandoned due to violation of environmental policies, COVID, or just lack of funds. And we would see many more of these sites along the coast of Vietnam. Wow. Looks pretty cool, no? Like, looks like some pillars just grew to support it. Wow. Look at this fucking mess. It's disgusting. It's fucking disgusting. Military area, guys. We have to turn around. Come Bye bye. I just got a flat tire. Repairing it here in the middle of the island. Here we 
we go. Left a small message, left a key. Message to Vietnamese written by Clément Monévidon. Yeah, and now we are on our way to Halong. Thank you. We then went to the city of Halong to spend one night before taking the bus and the ferry to the island of Katba. A nice Vietnamese dish. Let's go. Down, you have to down and stop. Yeah, come on, we. Can you do it, man? We. Can you drive? Man? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow! wow. Oh, Just met Sean. So guys, we just arrived in Katba city, so south of the island. So right now, we're here in the boat cruise, should be around there. Look at this fancy lift. And it's super cheap, it's like 150k for two people for a night. That's like $3 a night. $3. They always have the showers like mixed with the toilet all the time so it gets kind of messy becomes like a swimming pool inside yeah <laughs> it's gonna go well <laughs> yeah. clement noam and i drove to the heart of the island Kadba national park is home to more than 3,000 species one of which is the white-headed langur classified as a critically endangered primate one of the rarest in the world. Unfortunately, we weren't lucky enough to see it. However, nothing could prepare us for the amazing view we had at the top of this hill. Woohoo! Nice, good job! <laughs> so this is supposed to be a lake all dried up So many dead fish. Yeah, it's funny, just like a fish fish die in the summer, then get eaten, then come back next season. Let's go! Let's visit a bit more the islands. There's still some sun left. Yeah, yeah, it's Are you okay? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> More muddy than I thought. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, Halong Bay. Halong 
Talong means descending dragon. Legend has it dragons spat out jewels and jade, forming a barrier of green islands protecting Vietnam from invaders. Yeah, with Martin again. Still here, still on the adventure. Just chilling. This guy did the boat tour yesterday already and he's doing it again today. Cheers! Oh yeah, I was Follow me, another track. Yeah, you be the guide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you everyone. <laughs> Classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Halong Bay contains almost 2,000 islands, most of which are limestone. Oh, sorry. And only 40 of them are inhabited. People might recognize this beautiful landscape from famous movies like Avatar with its floating islands or even Kong Skull Island. Our boat cruise was one day long and was organized by our hostel. We didn't want to do three day cruises like this ship you can see in front of us because most people told us they just get bored after a while. One day is plenty to explore and see the beauty of all these islands. So now we're going to visit the fisherman's village. I'm with Abdel. Hi. Video maker. <laughs> Maker, he took the drone shots, looked amazing. Looking amazing. Love this place. The population of Halong Bay is approximately 1500, concentrated in a few fishing villages. They mostly live on boats and rafts, where they fish, cultivate, and breed aquatic and marine species. Is anybody going to swim here? Do you want to jump inside, Martin? No. No? You sure? They also have pearl farms and organized quick fishing activities for tourists. Tourism has really boosted the economy in this region. <laughs> well, we're not staying on the boat in the end because I don't know why Martin is turning his mind. Do like uh, the boat, that boat tomorrow, man. Yeah. Thank you. I'll pay you. Happy water! Yeah. This is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Ciao. Avocado shake. How is it, Timo? You like it? Pretty good. Pretty good? How's the coconut? Good? <laughs>